Our program this evening, The Natavish Story, is an original Christmas production by our very own music teachers, Mr. Rita St. Luke and Mr. Aaron Manswell. So welcome to one and all, to our parents, friends, and well-wishers. Without your presence, there really won't be a program. Special mention to our superintendents of education, Mr. Donald McIntyre and Dr. Janice Maitland. We hope that you will be blessed by this service. So won't you rejoice with us and sing with joy for the king who became a baby boy. Bring all your treasures one by one. Present them now to God's own son. And may your problems melt fast away as the bells ring out on Christmas Day. On behalf of Crawford Adventist Academy, I wish you happy holidays and a spirit-filled 2015. God bless and do enjoy the program. It's 12 days before Christmas and all the kids are happy. The parents have gone out and they've gotten them all their gifts. Let's see what they got.
Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father. Create all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He chose to give birth to us by giving us his true word. And we, out of all creation, became his prized possession.
white north, where the air is clean, health care is free, and so are the geese. It's the most wonderful place in the world. Think about it. Our spring fills the natural lake. Our summers are filled with great music and clean air. And not to mention the many holidays during the summer. Our autumns are unlike any other. The geese start to fly south and leaves change colors as if they are saying farewell and have a safe life. And what can be said of our winters? Mm, exactly. It leaves me speechless as well. But it's home, and I'm proud to be a Canadian. And who is more Canadian than the Manger family? They are sixth-generation Canadians and have never left Canada. Ever. They have everything they need here. Why would they need to go anywhere else? Canada has clean air, friendly people, poutine, and best of all, Tim Hortons! Any country without a Tim Hortons isn't a real country at all, as far as the mangers are concerned. But all that is about to change. This is the story of how a traditional Canadian family learns more about themselves and the importance of family through the birth of Jesus. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> Mom, Jason won't leave me alone. He's so incredulous sometimes. Well, thank you very much, sis. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's not a good thing, dog. Jason, give your sister back her book and get ready, or you're going to be late for school. But mom, it's the dictionary. It's not even a real book. It is a book. Just because you can't get past the first word doesn't mean you have to be little. I can get past the first word. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I can do it and still have time for breakfast. Well, then, let's have it. Kids. This isn't time for your bantering. No, Mom. I got this. I'm going to be obedient and listen to Mom. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Look, I don't care how long it takes you to stop for. Just buy me 30 minutes, man. How much does it cost? It's a figure of speech. Where'd you get your law degree? Online? Joe, have a seat and have some breakfast. I can't, my love. I have to rush the court, and you know how the floor one gets? If I don't leave now, who knows what time I'll get there. I'm sure you can spare at least three minutes to eat. Come on, Joe. OK, three minutes. But after that, I'm out the door. We're having breakfast together. This isn't it it's so, it's, it's so, it's so. <laughs> Isn't this just... Nah! How did you get in here? When did you get here? Why are you here? When are you leaving? What was that, Mary? You know I can't hear out of my left ear so good these days. Oh, nothing. Grandma, I learned a new word today. Yeah, what was that? <coughs> in... Incredible. Wow, Jason, that's nice. He didn't get that from our side, right? It's incredulous. You oh, never mind. Man, Brittany, green 
It sure doesn't look good on you. You need to get your eyes checked, Jason, because I'm not wearing green. Oh, I couldn't tell with all that envy on you. That's enough for today, kids. Go get ready. Well, that means I have to go. Joe! Aren't you forgetting something? My, my, car, my car keys, my, my wallet, and my, my cell phone, so... No, I don't think so. <coughs> Joe! Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, mother! Yes, honey? I love you, bye! <laughs> Bye, Mom! Bye, kids! Bye, Bye, Grandma! Bye, babies! Have a great day at school! What's for breakfast? You should go home and find out. Mary! You know I'm not hearing out of my left ear so good these days. Can you say that again? Cereal and milk. What happened to the good old days when you could get a hot breakfast and a decent cup of hot chocolate? They say you only eat cereal and milk when you can't make a decent hot breakfast. How are they and I can make a hot breakfast? You can, eh? So why are you wearing an apron? Did you make the cereal from scratch? Hardy har har, don't you have a bingo game to go play somewhere? Why do I get the feeling you want me gone? I have no idea. Well, if you don't, I guess I'll just stay. Well, if you're gonna be here, make yourself useful and get the door. Hi, I brought in your paper and your mail for you. Thanks, you didn't have to bring it in. That was nice of you. No worries, my pleasure. Well, thanks again. Well, it is off hold out there. Could I bother you for a cup of hot chocolate? She made cereal and milk. No cocoa here. I thought you were going deaf. What happened to the good old days when you could get a decent breakfast and a good cup of hot chocolate? What is this world coming to? My thoughts exactly. I, I heard the Hortons are giving away breakfast. All the cocoa you want. Really? Yup, just ask for Tim. Thanks, miss. <laughs> that was just too easy. This generation is getting slower and slower. That poor boy. You're in trouble now. I told you. We don't have any cocoa. It's a baby! Mary, I'm sure the paper boy wouldn't appreciate you calling him a baby. No, 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 no. it's a baby. A, a real life baby. Someone left him at our doorstep. Really? Who would do that? It's cold outside. I don't, I don't know, but we should get this baby warm and contact the police. I don't know. I've got a strange feeling about this baby. Almost like we should keep him. Or it could just be my stomach from the milk. Well, either way, we should get him warm. I'll get him some blankets. Where do you keep your clean sheets? 
We're out of clean sheets. You should go home, get some, and bring them here. Honestly, Mary, I don't know how you're a stay-at-home mother and don't have any clean sheets. I will be back. Now that she's gone, let's get you some clean sheets. Where did you come from? What should I call you?
Or so we thought. Let's see what happens. We are not keeping this baby, Mary. Joe, calm down. I think we should consider it. We don't know why this baby was sent to us. We, we also don't know what it has, Mary. I, for one, am not going to get sick for taking a baby off the streets. I don't know, Dad. I think we should keep it. It would be pretty cool to have a baby brother. Trust me, it is not as amazing as you would think. Brittany, be nice. That's not our baby, Mary. Return it. It's not a shirt off the rack or a car, Joe. It's a baby. And even if I could, you want me to just put it back on the street? Do what you gotta do. But by morning, that baby needs to be gone. For a lawyer, father, you're being rather rational. I'm the only rational person here. We can't take a baby off the streets. You took him, Jason. He is not off the streets, Brittany. Either way, we need to contact the police so that we don't end up in jail for kidnapping. We, we can't have that on our record. By we, you mean you. You said it, Mary, not me. Glad to know you care about me. You're, you're impossible sometimes, Joe. This impossible man is trying to keep us safe. That baby's going to the police tomorrow. But, but Joe. No buts, Mary. He said what? <laughs> Kids, go to bed! <laughs> Mother, you're going in the wrong direction. I'm gonna tuck the kids in. Last time you said that I was tucking you into bed. Go home. Okay, Joe, but I've got a feeling that you're gonna keep that baby. Sure, it's not some milk again. Real cute. Bye, mother. Joe, can't we keep him for just two days? Two days? In two days, it's Christmas. That baby deserves to be with its own family. Just two days. Then we'll return him to whomever he belongs to. Grandma, you can't spend the night. Who are you? And how dare you walk into my house uninvited? My name, my name is Ola. Ola is mine. Okay, Ola. You got about three seconds to tell me why you're in here before I call the police. Chill, Bridget. I'm here because I was told there'd be a baby here who would grow up on trees in the world. A, a baby? Men are speak English. Yeah, I'll hear this. Who told you that there would be a baby here? Don't worry about that, man. You come into my house, and you say don't worry. Listen, man, I'll tell you how it happened. Follow the sun, let me
Mississauga. Take the four seven. Listen, man. Just because me by you, Frankie, sent does not mean I'm rich, you know? Four seven is expensive. And me no have the money to pay for all of that. Then take the 401. It'll lead you straight there. Thank you, ma'am. Peace, Bridget. Take care of the baby. Let's 
go to bed before someone else knocks at the door. I, I hope this baby doesn't cry and that it's a silent night. Stop it, Mary. You're going to get the audience thinking we're going to sing that song. Who are these strange guests? Uno Weisman? What kind of a name is that? And what is so special about this baby? Uno bought him Frankie scent. Do you know how expensive that is? Let's just say this. If you had just one bottle of Frankie scent, you could buy all of Toronto hot chocolate from Tim Hortons and still have some money left over for a bagel. If I was Joe Manger or Mary Manger, I would be very scared that these surprise guests keep showing up. What will happen next? Tim Hortons live. 
But Tim Hortons is up the street. You got the wrong house, so let me see. Well, the prophecy aren't so literal, but uh, what can you find at Tim Hortons? Why? Love. A good time. A Canadian's dream. You guys in three seconds. <laughs> oh, my friend. A cup of joke. <laughs> That's not a prophecy. That's just a bad joke. Careful, old one. We fat men don't make bad jokes. Old one, dear Lord, strengthen my hands so that they may be swift but quick. Grandma, no, no, no. No need to be so brash, my love. We come in peace. We brought gifts for the baby. What gifts have you brought for the baby? Well, uh, I have brought him a mer. <laughs> Come again? A mer. Oh, Lord, she can't speak English. I can't speak English. A mer. A mirror, duh. Why can't you guys get that? Thank you. My accent can come in the way sometimes. That's not an accent. That's just an impediment. So, what did you bring, Deuce? I have brought him a gold. Membership at Baby's Eros. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it is what the prophecy told us to do. Did it tell you when you would leave? Joe, you don't have to be so rude. Well, he does get from his mother. No need to defend us, but we must be on our way anyway. Where will you go? I hear Alberta is nice this time of year. Alberta isn't nice any time of year, but have fun. Be safe. Keep the baby safe at all costs. Why?
hard tonight. I'll be back. Deuce! Trey! Okay. Mom, can I go to Bren's house for a couple of hours? Yeah, go ahead. Be back by dinner. <laughs> Don't you want to go out, Jason? Well, there is a father-son snowball fight today. Oh, Jason, you know I can't make it. I'm swamped with work. Go with him, Joe. He needs his father. So sad, baby. We seem to be going that right. Go with him, please. Go yeah. be a father. Who do you think is that baby's father? Well, somebody important, I guess. I'm ready, Dad. Let's go win the snowball fight. Boys. The day is here. Christmas. Manger's house. They weren't before, but now they are getting closer and are starting to feel like family again. This day has just started, but the guests are still coming. Who will come today? Dad, thanks for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun. Even though it didn't come in first, I'm glad I spent time with my boys. This, this, this is so nice. The family is together for Christmas. Oh, oh, mom, 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 I forgot to tell you. One of my friends said that a baby would come into our lives and bring us closer together as a family. Which friend is this? North. You mean Thomas Starr's daughter? Yep. So her name is North Star. Sounds like a bad keeping up with the Kardashians episode. 
Either way, she said it, and now this baby's here. Wait a minute. Hold on just a second. This doesn't remind you of the story of... Nah, forget it. Mom, this is my house. Which is even more reason why you should answer the door. I never said come in. Angels love to sing, praises dwelling. 
go? Back to Nova Scotia? No, we're headed to Betty. What's in Barry? Mr. Andy Mora! Ciao, my friends! We have to take this baby to the authorities. But, Joe... Mary, no buts. <coughs> He is not a baby. It's some family. Some family will be looking for him. Please, Joe. I know you've grown attached to him, Mary, but it's time we let this baby go to his family. Fine. Just when I was getting used to all the company coming over. Speaking of company, why are you here? What are you looking for, Grandma? I'm trying to find out who Mary thinks she's talking to with all that attitude. I will miss him for sure. He brought excitement to this house. He sure did. Calling children's aid. That's mother. Well, let's get his things. Between me and you guys, this story sounds a lot like a story we all know. Vise man, bakers who make shepherd's pie and were served by a host of angels, frankincense, myrrh, gold, membership to Babies Are Us. Could this baby be? Nah, that's just crazy. But the time has come, and the Manger family must give the baby to children's aid. 
Hopefully, everything works out for this baby. Let's see what happens next. So let me get this straight. You're telling me that you found this baby at your doorstep? Yes. And three members of the Weisman family came to see you? Yes. Then some bakers from Nova Scotia? Yes. And they followed the star? Yes. Catching the trend yet? And this isn't a prank or some kind of play for a school? No. Well, we looked through our missing persons, and this baby belongs to a family out in Ottawa. The family has been looking for him. For the record, we didn't know, and we never kidnapped him. Don't worry. I know it was just posted a while ago. What's the name of the family? Nazareth. Nazareth? Mm -hmm. what, a, what a weird last name. Agreed. What's his first name? Hey. Hey? Yep. What's his middle name? It says here, Zeus of. Zeus of? Yep. So his name is Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. Well, Jesus of Nazareth, go be someone great. It was nice knowing you these past two days. I will always love you.
I have to take the baby from here. By Jesus of Nazareth. Before you go, you didn't catch your name. Gabriel. Gabriel Evans.